Gunslinger Mario 64 Remastered Suicidal and some very sore fingers. I uh, cleaned my keyboard today. And, um, this was messy. It needed to be cleaned. Get the bits of skin and hair and gunk out of the, the keycaps and all that, you know? Um, but I don't have a keycap remover. I don't have anything to assist me with removing the keycaps from the, the, the board. So I just use my fingers, you know, my, my, my fingers, and I just kind of rip them out. It's fine. It's good. It's not, like, bad for the keycaps. It's bad for my fingers, though, um, because it hurts. It's, it's quite painful. Um, but, you know, you gotta, you gotta clean it from time to time. It's not, like, excruciating, right? It's, it's a very manageable amount of pain. An amount of pain that I consider to be worth it to clean my keyboard. Um, but definitely, like, every time I clean my keyboard, I'm like, oh, I gotta get a keycap removed, and I just, for, like, forget to, 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 to do that. <laughs> and the next time it comes around, I'm like, oh, I gotta clean my keyboard. Well, I do think it's worth it, so I'll do it, but I should get a keycap remover. Um, but today, while my keycaps were removed and I had cleaned my keyboard, I was like, huh, I wonder how well I can type with no keycaps. So I plugged my keyboard in with no keycaps on it. Um, and I did a few, uh, did a few races on type race. I was able to get like 60 words per minute after a few races with no keycaps on the keyboard. Ah, oh, I like bit my tongue the other day, and it, or yesterday, two days ago. It hurts like heck, dude. Um, like right at the tip. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I'll give it a try. I was able to get up to 60 words per minute after a couple. Now, if I were to take my keycaps off again and do another race, I think I could hit maybe like 70 to 100. Somewhere in that sort of range of, uh, of capability. Which is like kind of insane for, for not having keycaps. Like, I, th I think that you're going to be able to type slightly worse. Well, as long as you don't need to look at the keyboard at all. As long as you don't actually require the keys to be there to know what you're pressing. Like, as long as you're at that point. Um, typing without keycaps is really, really hard. Um, but with a few minutes of practice, you should be able to get um, some degree of consistency. But you're going to lose, like, maybe 30 to 40% of your... Every typing speed, uh, every typing speed, and you're gonna gain like 300% of uh, of the pain <laughs> because you're typing just straight onto the the the, the um, switches themselves, which is really really painful. Um, especially especially after I had just gone through and like removed all the keycaps with my fingers, and then I'm typing on those switches, just like bare switches. Um, yeah, it was a painful experience, but it was fun. It was it was fun. Something that I'll probably do again, not anytime soon, but something that I will I will probably do it again because it was fun. It was it was a fun little flex, you know. Sixty words per minute with uh, with no. I was like fifty six or fifty five or something like that, with no keycaps, you know. Who needs keys for uh, for typing, right? Who needs them? I certainly don't. Let's go. Uh, but it was fun. So I'll, I'll probably do it again in the future, um, but uh, yeah, not anytime soon. It's it's not like uh, a hobby of mine. But you know, next time I clean my keyboard, I'll probably uh, give it another go and see what I can do. You know, see if I can like I don't know, get into the top 10% typists with uh, without even having any keycaps on my keyboard. That'd be kind of cool, right? Be a cool flex. I reckon with enough practice, I could get... Because, uh, like, I have bursts where I'm typing at probably 130, 140-ish. Um, I haven't actually, like, checked. Just, like, I was typing... Um, when I was, like, just in Discord and stuff with uh, without uh, without my keycaps on. And, I like, I know what 140 feels like. So I had bursts of words where it was just like, yeah, I'm just typing normally, you know? Like, there's, there's nothing different about this. I'm just... Typing normally and there's just no keycaps. So I think that with enough practice, I could get up to like 140, 150, um, without without uh, without keycaps, like with a with a really good race. Um, but uh, you know, I don't know. That that may be a little bit too far gone, <laughs> a little bit too much, a little too ambitious. Uh, but I could do it.
I think I think anybody could. You know, again, as long as you don't require the keys to be there. Um, for for your typing, like as long as you don't rely on actually like seeing the keys at all, uh, to know what you're to know what like keys you're pressing, um, you're gonna be completely fine. You, you'll be able to get back up to your normal typing speed with uh, with without keycaps. It is really really hard though, and then it clicks. You know, it's, it's like the hardest thing you'll ever do with uh, with regards to typing, and then you'll have a moment where it just like. Oh, I get it. And now you're just typing like uh, like normal. And that's crazy, dude. It's crazy how we can adjust to stuff like that. But it was a fun experience. I recommend it next time you're cleaning your keyboard if you got a mech. And, uh, you know, you have the physical switches there that you can click. Um, do it. Try it. It's a fun little uh, experiment for sure. Uh, you know, you, you won't do well. Like, I was typing at like 60. I normally type like a 140, 150, you know, like like I was typing at, you know, a third of, of what I normally type at. You're not gonna do well, but it's fun. It's uh, it's fun. It's a nice little experiment, and uh, it's a nice skill to have too. Not 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 for like utility, but just for for bragging rights, I guess. Um, to be able to just type on on, because uh, it's very precise. Uh like button presses that you have to do you know like you can't miss it by like you, you if you're off by a couple of millimeters you're you're not gonna touch the key you know so you have to be very precise with your key presses and you'll get there with uh, a few minutes of practice but honestly the ones that are the hardest are um like backspace because you don't normally like I don't anyway I have uh, I have a large backspace I don't press the center of backspace where the button is, I press like just at the side. And, uh. Please. Um. So, like, pressing backspace was really hard because I'm like, where I press is closer to like the equals sign. Um. So, I kept hitting equals instead of backspace. And learning how to get that one done was, uh, was a pain in the butt. So, what would happen is I'd like make one mistake and then make like 80 mistakes trying to fix it. <laughs> Um, so getting getting used to where the backspace was helped a lot. Uh, the space bar as well, same kind of thing. I don't hit the center of the space bar generally. So uh, getting used to hitting the direct center of it, being very precise like that was uh, another challenge for sure. Um, and then uh, like shifts were a little bit tricky and. Yeah, just just all around the, the the larger keys were definitely harder, just because you don't hit the center. I'm like right now I'm hitting shift, but I'm like right at the edge of the shift key, you know. I just I don't hit the very center of it, so. But uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a fun experiment, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. I got a recording of it. Um, I might share it in the description. I don't know if I remember to. I I will. If I don't, then I won't. Um. It's not a very interesting thing, so I probably won't, but if you care, check. Find out if I care to share it with you. Like, this video's not actually going to get uploaded for a few hours, so I'll probably even forget that I said it by then. <laughs> um, if you ask in the comments, I'll share it with you, but it's, it's just a matter of whether I remember to do it or not, and it's not something I super care about sharing, so uh, eh. Probably forget. Ask me if you want it, and then I'll and then I'll do it. remind me. Okay, if you care, then remind me. If you don't care, then you don't get it. It's a, it's a you know kind of self fulfilling prophecy, as it were. It's a it's a term that I misuse all the time. I did a uh, personality quiz on camera today. I did uh, the sixteen personalities. It's like Inzja. That's what I ended up getting. INSFJ A or something like that. Imja. Something like that. I'm feeling generous. Don't think it matters to anything. I recorded it. I might upload it, I'm not sure. Um we'll see. Again, it's kind of the same thing, like I don't know if I want to. But I've got it recorded. Oh, actually no, I don't have it recorded, I deleted it. <laughs> 
I deleted it to make space for this video. Never mind, it's gone. You're not getting it. And I'm not going to do it again because, like, I just recorded. I don't really want to record another one. My finger hurts so much scrolling through this. It's so painful. My index finger. The poor thing. I've abused it so much. That was really painful. I was just like scrolling and it was like, ow. <laughs> ow, dude. That's too much. That's too much. Safety's off. I had KFC for, uh, well, I was going to say for lunch today, but in actual fact, it was just for food today. Um, KFC is another thing where when I order it, I, I don't really get to eat anything else that day. Um, I like KFC. Uh, KFC in Canada, by the way, is a lot different to KFC in the America. Actually, like a lot of um, fast food restaurants are. Like, I like McDonald's. Um, I like KFC. I like A&W. I like Wendy's. I like Burger King. They're all different here in Canada than in America. Um, and typically for the better. Like, McDonald's in America, I've, I've only been to a few of them. I didn't like any of them. They all sucked. Uh, and, and I've heard negative things about the the quality of food at McDonald's in America as well. Um, so I'm uh, I'm I'm personally a fan of uh, the fast food restaurants in Canada more so than the ones in America. But uh, KFC in particular, I believe, is is one that's notably better in in Canada. From from what I've heard, I've never actually experienced KFC in America, so I don't know. I'm talking about my butt. Excuse me, but um. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that uh, the KFC in America sucks, but KFC in Canada is actually like pretty good. Um, like the the health side of things from from fast food in Canada isn't like much better than in America. It's not like you can make it a, a, a regular occurrence in your diet. Like I haven't had KFC in months, you know. But uh, every now and then it's nice to have uh, some KFC. I'm not actually a fan too much of uh like what kfc is known for like that um like the chicken thighs and drumsticks and all that like that's not actually so much for me i don't like i love it um but um i, I don't order it it's just uh i don't know when I when I order KFC, I typically go for some chicken tenders with some fries, uh, a biscuit perhaps, and uh, gravy. That's what I had today. A few chicken tenders, uh, a little bit of popcorn chicken as well. Today, um, so I don't know how many calories it ends up being. Probably somewhere, I'm guessing around like the thousand to sixteen hundred ish range, which is yeah pretty close to what I should be eating for the day. So that's what I ate for today. Um, I could like look it up but you know like after a while you kind of just get a feel for how many calories are in the foods that you're eating you know you kind of just get a, an idea of it and uh, you're able to recognize that yeah no this is this is definitely food that uh, you guys are so annoying and like I can kill you to stop you from annoying me but like there's other things too also annoying me right now. Oh my god. Um. So anyway, I decided the, the moral of the story here is I had KFC for uh, for lunch and then also for breakfast and then also for dinner because it's all I ate today. I had the one thing. Oh, I had an orange juice with it too. I had the whole like combo thing. Um. Yeah, I had the orange juice with it. Another thing that's like not very good for you. <laughs> There's a lot of sugar added into orange juices. Um, they're good. I like them, but uh, yeah, they're not—they're not very good for you. Um, but you know, every now and then it's nice to have a little splurge, right? Every now and then. So that was what—that uh, was what my food for the day had uh, had been: some chicken tenders, some popcorn chicken, some fries, gravy, and a biscuit. Whole little uh, chicken combo thingy. It was, uh, it was yummy. I liked it. I'll, uh, you know, go another few months before I end up ordering KFC again. I do really, really like KFC's chicken tenders with their gravy, though. 
Like they're just a they're just a perfect combination for me. They're really really good. Their poutine sucks. Okay, if you ever come to Canada and you're like, ooh, KFC has poutine, don't get it. Don't don't even get it. Like just go to McDonald's and get poutine. Okay, if if you're if you're gonna get fast food poutine, McDonald's is the way to go. It just is. I'm sorry. McDonald's poutine's actually like pretty good. Um, now there is a you know the the best poutine is you go to Burger King and you get their fries and then you go to um, McDonald's and you get their cheese curds and gravy. Hey, if you're talking about like fast food, we're talking fast food here. It's not like I'd, I'd rather go to like a poutine restaurant and get proper poutine. Um, but we're talking, we're talking. You know, you're at like a fast food restaurant. You're visiting Canada. It's your first day here. You're just trying to get dinner. You're at McDonald's or something, and you're like, hey, they have poutine. Let's try that. Uh, McDonald's poutine is is the way to go, in my opinion. KFC poutine, not good. Their gravy just doesn't really work for poutine. Cause for me, poutine's definitely way better with uh, with a with a brown gravy. With a well, I mean, KFC gravy's brown, but not really. It's not really. It's not a beef gravy, you know. Whereas uh, McDonald's poutine is a beef gravy, and uh, that makes a big difference for the poutine, in my opinion. And in like a lot of people, like anybody I've talked to agrees with me. McDonald's poutine is, is ten times better than KFC's. Also, like the the KFC fries are just soggy and greasy. And, and you know, you, I don't know. Maybe in America, McDonald's fries are also soggy and greasy. Here, they're like not. They're they're reasonably crunchy, crispy, fluffy. Like they're just good fries. Um, so when you make poutine with them, it's like it's good poutine. They're they're good fries. That's that's the base of uh, poutine. So when you end up like taking those soggy, greasy KFC fries and you smother them in gravy, and they get even more soggy and greasy, and uh, you end up uh, like adding in some cheese curds that are not real cheese kind of thing, you know, and it's it's just it's a bad experience all around. Don't do it. Don't do it. Not not a high recommend. But they're um. Their chicken tenders with the gravy is is really really good. I love them. I wish I could eat them more. You know, like I, I wish I could uh, eat them more often. I just I don't feel good when I order KFC more than like once in a month. <laughs> and even that's kind of like I don't know. I don't know. We might be pushing it a little bit. <laughs> Um, but I wish I could eat it like all the time because it's really, really good. I wish it was healthy. <laughs> it wouldn't taste as good if it was healthy though. It's all the stuff that makes it not healthy that makes it taste so good. But there's just this like subtle heat to it that uh, that I just really, really enjoy. Just come on. Um, which no other. Like chicken tender poutine combination, really, uh, really gets. And their chicken tenders are just really good. Like I ordered from a uh, Fat Burger from time to time, which is a uh, a burger joint that also sells like wings, tenders, poutine, you know, all that kind of stuff that uh, you get at any random burger joint. Um. And uh, I. Uh, I'll order the chicken tenders from them. They're okay, but they're not that good. Like it's like the the, the tender the chicken tenders there are like three or four times more expensive than KFC than KFC chicken tenders. And I just, I just look at it every time I order them, and I'm like, I really don't think there's any nutritional benefit to ordering these over ordering um like KFC chicken tenders. Like, I'm pretty sure the nutritional, you know, <clears throat> benefits to these is, is roughly equal. Um, and they're just not as good. And they're more expensive. So every time I order them, I'm like, why am I doing this? And then I'm like, oh, right, because their poutine's actually really good. And, uh, you know, I don't want to... Well, like, once you order two things, like you order poutine from Fat Burger and then you order chicken tenders from KFC, the delivery costs and the tip and all that, it's just you're starting to get... 
starting to outweigh the benefits of just of getting the chicken tenders from KFC in the first place from like a cost perspective. Mind you, they still taste better, but like it's just, is it worth it? No. I will never say it's worth it. <laughs> um, it's just not that important, you know? They're fine, They're, they just don't compare. KFC chicken tenders are just really good. I do really like them. I will. I am unashamed in admitting that I loved KFC chicken tenders. Okay, they make probably some of the best chicken tenders, like just around. This is uh, like KFC does chicken. Okay, like they do it pretty dang well. And again, I don't like. Uh, I hear that American KFC is not as good, so I don't know. Maybe I'm privileged, but either way, I don't get to eat it all that often. <laughs> No, not like seriously, you know, like I might order, well, actually no. I was going to say I might order poutine, but no, I don't. That's That would be a lie. Because that's kind of what I do at other fast food restaurants. Like on occasion, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, I just want poutine, you know? And I'll order a poutine from like McDonald's or A&W or Wendy's or somewhere. Um, and I was like, you know, maybe sometimes I'll order like KFC poutine, but no, no, I don't. I just, I don't. It's gross. It's not good. So yeah, and then, um, you know, because I'm not ordering the poutine on occasion... I really just don't order from there very often because like I'd have to order like a whole thing and at that point you're getting into just a lot of stuff that you don't want to have to deal with when you're trying to lose weight so I mean poutine's already like not that great for you but I can't res I can't give up poutine okay that's asking far too much from me okay far too much anyway that's gonna do it for today so thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say I'll see you next time bye bye